talk today about asthma and magnesium. When I first started uh, to studying magnesium, I found a lot of things about uh, on the topic of asthma and how it had helped people. Um, it's not only well known by medical professionals that they use, you know, magnesium. I think sulfate they nebulize it in, in the case of uh, acute attacks of asthma, and so that's already been well known. Um, but in general, having high magnesium levels in the body uh, maintains uh, a, a homeostasis in the muscular system, including cramps, but also um, alveolar, uh, the, the alveolar is the, 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 the lung tissue, um, and it's responsible for the bronchodilation of that tissue. So it helps the bronchodilation, it helps it to open up, breathe, and also detoxify and also heal. Um, <clears throat> another missing factor in some of the lung topics and asthma and everything else is is um, is uh, lactoferrin, which comes from raw milk, and how the body uses that lactoferrin in milk form, this active form of iron, I guess you could say, that goes in and coats and is able to detoxify the lungs as well. They would even give it to convalescents, tuberculosis patients, etc. So there's that too, but the magnesium plays a key role in stabilizing the muscle so that the muscle is in a state of relaxation, not over exerting, and it gives it kind of its rest period. That's part of how that function works, that pump. And so um, there's a hyperactive, you know, it's a hyperactivity limiter in a way, the magnesium. It helps to limit that and allow it the right level of, of, of output, you know, like not a gate or a limiter, but it has this kind of buffer effect which is what we need you know um, in this kind of speedy world full of ang uh, anxiety that we're in you know stress I guess is a term that didn't even exist you know hundred and something years ago it was invented in our in, a, in modern t times as a, as a word that we use um, I mean I don't know if it was invented but it, it became popular um, but so um, the I'm trying to move this little mouse thing here. Um, yeah, the, well, another thing you can do with the magnesium, especially the transdermal, is you apply it directly on the chest. And so because it's direct, it's going to go straight into the, the lungs. It goes straight through the skin. And so this is one of the ways that you can get something to aim. You want to aim. That's the thing about strategy. You want to be able to aim. And so you can aim this thing directly into the zone. So it helps with the bronchodilation. Over time, it, it pushes the levels of magnesium, not only locally, but in the body, because it, it, you know, um, it goes around in the body, you know, the bloodstream. But, um, but um, also locally sometimes, too. Like, I know some people who have used it for that uh, to great effect. And, and, um, so it helps with the bronchodilation, that's the first thing, and the relaxation of that and not without the over-excitation of that muscle. And that's going to be key because that's the asthm asthmatic attack, right, is the stimulation. And so <clears throat> that's level one. And level two, which is, I guess, more deeper or deeper, is, um, is the immune system in general. So the immune system in general it's going to be um, magnesium, low levels of magnesium um, 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 keep from magnesium when it's in a, oh, let's put it, let's do it another way. High levels of magnesium help to inhibit pro-inflammatory cytokines and inflammatory um, agents in the body. That's well known. It's proven. It's like magnesium and inflammation, hundreds of studies on just that. And so it helps to calm that. Um, and so whenever that inflammation is there present, the immune system cannot uh, function properly. Like it's, it's in uh, an overdrive, either in its nonspecific elements, meaning a macrophage and the white blood cells, T cells, all this endothelial cells, all this stuff that's happening, neutrophils trying to push up, but without a specific response. You know, this is just the innate system, the, the immune system. And so it creates almost like imagine just a thousand sentinels when there should have, you know, like, it's almost like a city with a, only an army. That's all they have for the city. So, and, and it creates a, um, 
way too much energy lost in one area to where sometimes when a, a specific tech is, is mounted, it's, it's, it's slow and heavy and it can't respond properly. And this happens because of the inflammation. The inflammation is down there creating structural um, um, disintegration of structural integrity. And so that's creating a lot of the problems. Magnesium is woven into all of the structure of the body. Um, not only through all the catalytic reactions, but it mixes with acids and it removes heavy metals through their conjugation, chelation, uptake, and, and the bonds. It pulls those things out and it de degrades them in conjunction with acids and enzymes, but also through the structure itself, through the tissues and how they're woven with this scintillating, sparkly material, woven mineral material called magnesium. Not only does that well distribute a sort of immune system because minerals of this nature, especially like magnesium, zinc, selenium, etc., but magnesium being much more ubiquitous, um, magnesium being well distributed, it's an antimicrobial. That's why you can buy a bottle of transdermal magnesium and it never goes bad. It's like nothing can contaminate it. And so that well distributed executive, you could call that well distributed immune system in that, in that tissue creates for... Um, a better immune system because then you don't have to have all the soldiers and guards all the time because the people, so-called the cell, the normal everyday cell, has um, his own weapons. And and so it's not um, that it all has to come from the guards, right? So there is kind of a human parallel there uh, in, in, in human society, um, which is, you know, that's, that's, that's what esoteric nutrition is, I guess you could call that, where you have to see the parallels between these things without oversimplifying because you can you can squash a lot of phenomena when you oversimplify. But there is simple truth built into it as well. So you gotta find that. There's there's canals and there's things that that line up, you know. So if that can help somebody about uh, with asthma to understand how this works and um and how the inflammation is calmed on a base level, having high levels of magnesium. And then also on a specific level, it's also used for acute asthma. And it's also used for um, directly treating asthma as um, part of a supplement or even transdermally through the lungs or whatever. Or there's also nebulization. There's a lot of other techniques you can use. But the most important is to have the high levels in a general way. Um, and so that, the best way is to not go cheap, do the right stuff, get the right stuff, blue bottles, glass bottles only, no endocrine disruptors, no plastic, uh, high level, make sure it has Zextine inside written on the label. If it doesn't have that logo, it's not real Zextine. It can say genuine Zextine, it can say ancient whatever, Permian whatever, it's not the real thing. Uh, or it's diluted and it's not the real thing, so it's like double whammy. So get the concentrated maximal stuff that's not, that doesn't have that hasn't been extracted by solvents hasn't been chemically treated because it's coming from a natural stone out of Vendam Holland and the only and unique source for the Zechstein. Uh, come check us out at theheartoftradition.com. It's a little more expensive than than other the other guys, but you'll see why. And spend more on this key deficiency because it's so ubiquitous in the body. You want to get the purest molecule you can that's not coming from science, that's coming from nature. And so you have to find this special stone called bishafit, which is basically pure magnesium chloride, which is separated. It has, you don't have to extract using solvents to separate things to get your final product. It's there, the final product. So... Don't be fooled. Get the right stuff. Three bucks a week. TheHeartOfTradition.com.